Welcome to Tech Notice, my friends. A little while ago, one of the subscribers commented on my YouTube, one of the videos and said, you should check out the Fifine microphone because they are probably the best bang for buck when it comes to budget microphones. So now I have a few Fifine microphones and I've added a few more different USB microphones, different budget USB microphones. And the whole idea over here is to maybe try out, see which one is the best and how, what do they sound like? So let's do it. So a few things over here. At the moment, uh, I'm recording on this uh, Fifine K678. Sorry, I'm just looking at some of the notes over here on the floor, on the table, because there is quite a few microphones and quite a new, new names to remember. So this one is kind of the one that kind of is like a blue jetty microphone over here. This is the nicest microphone in the bunch over here with regards to design and just the build quality. It is absolutely matte black, so you're gonna love that. There's a few features on the microphone as well. On this side, there's a mute button. You can hear me, I can switch it off over here. And then on the other side, we have microphone gain and the mic gain. There is a microphone little 3.5 millimeter jack on the bottom as well. If you want to monitor your audio straight from the microphone and then there is a USB mini and I've got to mention that the USB cable that comes with it it is very high quality cable this is there's like a like metal trimmings around it just feels top of the class absolutely amazing so I'm absolutely loving also the matte black finish on this microphone and the microphone kind of is taking all around it so basically the mic pattern for this one is that it picks up most of the sound from the front of the microphone which is towards this mute button and then not so much from the sides and then a little bit from the back of the microphone so this is the Fifine K678 microphone it comes with this stand in the kit as well as the USB cable no pop filters no nothing like that and it costs $100 $99 to be exact so the next microphone we have over here is the Maono Maono Maona you know I've actually done a video on this microphone before and uh, I called it like the best bang for buck budget um, podcast microphone because it sounded absolutely gorgeous for the price it is. So this microphone over here, let me just double check the price, costs £69 or $88. I'm sure I've seen this somewhere around 60 or 70 as well, but you know, the prices at the moment are a bit crazy all around the world. But this one over here comes with the actual arm as well. So there's like a little podcast arm. So if you're doing gaming or whatever, you know, this comes with that. There's also like a little, um, like a knob on the microphone as well for the mic gain. So you can turn it down or turn it up, turn it down, turn it up, as well as a little mute button on the on here to mute the microphone. You can do that as well over here. So this is the Maono microphone uh, it sounds very very nice compared to the Fifine I think they're very very similar I have to listen back and you know you tell me in the comment section below what is your favorite microphone out of the bunch to me this sounds absolutely fantastic and for the price of what you're getting in the bunch in the back or you know hold the whole kit it's very nice sounding microphone let's move on to the next microphone and this is another microphone this is newer nw7000 usb microphone and uh, this was the microphone if you haven't seen that video yet you know where we compared this microphone to a 300 dollar microphone or 300 euro microphone so this is 30 to like a 10 times the price of this microphone and how did it compare to that Check it out if you want to check that video out. But this one over here costs about £50. This comes as with the pop filter as well. I know I don't have the pop filter on here. And the Maono one didn't have a pop filter on as well. Sorry, this one over here. The Maono one, because I'm actually using them on another set. So they're not here with me at the moment. I just had the microphone lying around. But this one uh, has the pop filter as well. But I'm also using it. So that comes in the kit as well, which is very, very good. Now, this costs £50. So how does it sound? Let me know in the comment section below. I can hear straight away that it's much more thinnier, like a thinner audio. It's much thinnier. It's, um, there's a lot of self noise. There's a little bit of a hiss in the background, as you can hear. There it is. There's a little bit of a hiss in the background. But do you know what? If you're very much on a budget, it could do a bit big, you know, a good job. 
Let me know if you hear the difference. This is called the Tone TC777 microphone. And I'm holding it really close to my microphone because it looks like the self levels of the microphone are much lower than the other ones. So what you get with this microphone is this microphone stand, like these legs, um, this pop filter over here, the microphone little muff or sponge. I don't know why anyone would use that. Only if you're really spitting and I don't know you've got some saliva problems so anyway I don't see why you would use any of these it's a little bit pointless it just makes the sound a little bit muffled as you can see can you hear this it's a little bit just like the the clarity is gone whereas this is much more clear I like this much more you know the p the pop filter is here p it actually works p very good very good very good so this is the cheapest of the punch this one over here costs 40 pounds or let's see how much it is in dollars 51 dollars okay so let me know guys what you think of this microphone in the comment section below i'd love to know from you this microphone is connected via usb cable and it is actually built in so if this usb cable breaks you can't actually change that so that's that also this shock mount over here it kind of works, you know, all right, but it is very flimsy and the build quality feels the cheapest. So definitely the cheapest of the bunch when comparing it here. But if you only need like something small one for Skype calls or something, it definitely improves the audio over, you know, like a usual built-in microphone from MacBook Pro or something like that. So that is it. But the self noise as well is a little bit higher because I have to boost the levels a little bit I can hear a little bit of a hiss in the background as well. But for $40, $50, 40 quid, let me know if this is something you would like to get. Okay, let's move on to the next microphone. So another microphone, this one over here is by the company Fifine as well. This one is the T669 microphone and it comes with the kit. In the kit, you have this arm, okay? You have this muff that goes on the you know microphone so as always you know i don't know why we would use that you have a pop filter over here which is quite large compared to the microphone very very nice also in the micro on the microphone over here you ha have a microphone gain and at the moment this is like the same settings i've been using with the other microphones and on this microphone i'm roughly around 20 percent 15 to 20 percent of gain so now if this is about 50 percent of the gain and it is very loud this is around 75 percent of the gain and i'm gonna go back because it's very loud and this is 100 percent of the gain but i'm talking really quietly because i don't want to hurt my ears it's very very loud as you can hear i'm whistling whispering but i'm almost speaking yes i just picked it's very, very sensitive. <coughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. If you don't know what just happened, I just clapped over there and it's very loud. Okay, we're back to about 15%. So, how does this microphone sound, my friends? Does this sound okay? Listening to the background noise as well, making just a pause over here. So how much does this microphone cost over here? This microphone costs, let me see, here it is. This is 47 pounds. Did you know that this is cheaper microphone than this newer microphone? This is crazy how much more sensitive this microphone is. So you can turn down the levels way down to get much cleaner signal. So basically, let's, um, you know, make this comparison. What's the levels of like, price differences this fee fine six six sorry let's go from the cheapest one this toner one over here toner tc777 is the cheapest at 51 around 50 dollars okay next one we have this one actually this is the second cheapest microphone at 47 pounds or 60 dollars okay this is 60 dollars this newer one is a little bit more expensive 63 dollars and 20 cents then we have the uh, Maono microphone over here. Okay, let's get that in the shot. This one over here. Uh, and this one, you know, with the mute button on the front and then little knob over here. That is very nice. This one costs $88 or £69. And then we have this 
Fifine K678 microphone. And this is kind of like, like a blue Yeti kind of territory. As soon as you pick it up, you're like, whoa, there's a bit of a weight to it. So definitely the Fifine microphones, even though this Fifine one over here, the more expensive one that costs $100, um, this one this one comes with the nice escaper, but even the cheap Fifine uh, microphone over here that comes with the arm and all the accessories, this one also has these really, really nice cables. So I'm very, very impressed with the Fifine quality at the moment. Definitely the nicest quality, even not as nice as this, uh, you know, Maono, Maono one. It's quite okay, but definitely Fifine is the nicest quality in the bunch. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to listen back to all the recordings that I've just done and then kind of give you my overview of what do these microphones sound like. And uh, yeah, then we're going to get back to you in a moment. This microphone gain is literally on the minimum. So this is the minimum gain on here and I can still get very, very, very strong signal. So what do I say about this microphone? This microphone seems to me like the nicest um, in terms of it captures the most crisp audio, most gain audio. It is very nice, but it's it captures a lot of room audio as well because it captures audio from this side as well. There's a lot of room audio within the mix. So this is probably nice if you want to record like a little bit of a guitar or things like that. Um, I would, you know, get this one. Obviously, I wouldn't record a very professional soundtrack with this microphone. This is still meant for like a podcast USB microphone. USB microphones are just for like audio podcast you know, just like a quick audio thing where you just need to plug in, you know, attach audio to your video or something like that. A little bit of a, you know, voiceovers, doing a bit of voiceovers. This being the most expensive in the bunch, bunch, I don't think you're getting the most bang for your buck, but it sure looks very good, the nicest and the high, highest quality materials used to get this microphone. Let's move on to the next one. So now on the other side of the scale, we have this toner. Uh, microphone. This is the cheapest of the bunch and when listening back to the audio I am seriously impressed. As much as this looks like a cheap microphone and it feels like a cheap microphone like all the stands and things it's just like from the outside it's like a sleeper if you know what I mean you know like a sleeper tuner guy who's just like running on this Honda Civic but then underneath he's actually got like six seven hundred horsepower if you know what I mean so this is that microphone it's definitely worth the money. It's probably like one of the best bang for buck. Well, in terms of audio, but the accessories you come with it, it's very hard to make it use of this. Uh, it is still very like low on gain. So um, if you want a sensitive microphone, you have to really boost um, the gains on, on the software. A little bit of the self noise though. There is a bit more self noise than on the others because you have to boost the gain. So, but it's very like mild. It's not like, like a electric. It's just like a like a wind, like a little bit of a. I like it very much. Links in the description as always of all the microphones if you want to check them out. This one over here is the Fifine T six six nine, and so this is somewhere in the middle now, where it is sixty dollars, and I think this is probably the best best bang for buck in the bunch okay the only thing that this maono here has an advantage of this one is that it's got a mute button on here whereas you can't mute the but you know this over here but if you're recording an obs you can easily assign like one of the keyboard buttons as your microphone mute so you can easily you know mute it on your uh, keyboard this i think is probably the best bang for buck in terms of how it sounds so it's very similar to this microphone over here Okay, the Moana microphone over here, but this is cheaper, around $28 cheaper. So definitely worth checking out because I would go with this one over the toner one, even though I like the toner sound because what you get with this is this arm pop filter. So very professional setup, whereas with this donor, you're a bit more like tangled around and you can't get the USB cable on. With this uh, Fifine one, you get very high quality USB cables, super, super nice. You know, this arms, everything you can, you know, tighten them up over here on the arm. As you can see, there's a little Velcro over here that comes with it. Definitely worth the money. I know it's not like the highest quality kind of, you know, podcast arm over here, but it sounds very, very nice.
Now, the last microphone is this newer in the bunch, and to me, that is definitely the worst option to get for, you know, in the bunch, because it sounds very tinny, very like, there's a lot of self-noise straight away, the most self-noise of all the microphones. It sounds very, very midi and high, the, the lows aren't there, it's not as clear, it just feels lower, lower quality, but if you look at the price, it is right up there with, you know, all the other microphones it's not even the cheapest microphone it costs 63 dollars so more expensive than the fifi one the fifi one is so much better okay so the subscribers were right the fifi one over here i'm not sure if they meant this microphone the t669 microphone it is one of the nicest microphones i've tried the best budget cheap microphone is probably the fifi one but always check out the links in the description because there's always deals going around so you know maybe there's i don't know 10 percent off or 20 percent off of amazon or some deals off of amazon today's deals definitely worth like checking out all the prices that they're the same what i'm testing over here obviously these are the prices i just looked up now but it isn't the same when when you might be looking in the description or in the links below okay my friends and now i'm ending with this microphone now just a reminder why this microphone is more expensive is that you have a headphone jack on the microphone as well so you can monitor your audio while it's being recorded as well this is on the lowest of the gain and it sounds very very delicious probably the nicest one in the bunch as you can hear there is very low self noise i think this microphone is right up there with blue yetis and things like that so definitely worth checking this out so guys, this is the conclusion. If you want the best bang for the buck, you go with this Fifine T669 microphone because what you get in the kit is absolutely fantastic. Now, if you want something that looks nice on your table, you go with this one over here. This is definitely the nicest microphone. Looks the slickest over here. I'm just holding it very close to my mic mouth to get the nicest audio from here. You can monitor your audio or your input levels from the bottom of the microphone very nice while well, actually recording over there on a separate input so it's actually separate from what you're actually hearing or recording it's very nice now if you want the absolute cheapest thing that is you know very very nice you go with the toner microphone and it actually sounds very very nice i was very surprised by the sound quality of this one and that is the verdict now what i wouldn't go with is the newer microphone and the micro my own microphone is worth getting if you get a deal and if you get this you know the mute button over here they're very similar with the fifi microphone it's just a little bit more expensive at the moment so you justify if $28 is worth paying for. As always, hit that like button. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much, guys, for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.